Yeah, hey peeps, so uh, I'm back on talking about uh, the Boston bombings. It's the biggest story of the day. Matt Thatcher's fucking funeral can wait, you know. But uh, I keep hearing these supposed so called pundits and uh, news announcers, you know, talking about the two bombs, you know, going off and Boston and there was some say two, some say three, some say five other devices that were disabled by you know the security. It's bullshit. There was no other devices found. The only two devices that you know were bombs were the two that exploded. In the circumstance where a, a couple of explosions like this goes off in a hundred meter area, you know, hundred meter stretch of street. Some people are bound to run off and leave their bags. And when the police come along and these people are away, maybe injured, in a tent getting treated, there's an unattended bag there. Knapsack, whatever. The police have to treat that with suspicion. They have to treat it like it is another device, perhaps in that bag. So they approach that bag as if it is a bomb, right? But when they, you know, do what they do, uh, they've got some of these very high pressure jets, needle jets, and they can fire into it to try and disable it. They can put a small explosive on it and explode it. They can drive up, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think they would time to bring in a, uh, one of these robots with a, a gun attached to shoot it. But I mean, they did, they did what they would normally do when they have a suspect package. They treated them like suspect packages, packages if there were bombs in them. But the five packages that were uh, discovered or found uh, they've all found to just be unattended uh, baggage so there was no other devices left anyway there was only the two which did explode but I keep hearing even today you know 24 hours after this has happened some news correspondents and commentators, you know, some pundits are still saying these other devices were found and, and disabled. They weren't devices, they were just unattended luggage that turned out to be unattended luggage. This could have been more than a one-man job, I mean there's two explosive devices 75 metres apart. One person could have put them down, but that may have looked suspicious. One guy with two rucksacks, uh, if that's what they were, backpacks. So it could be that you're talking about two people uh, involved in this. There could be more, there could be a group of them. But it could also have been done by one person. I mean, one person could have secreted uh, one uh, backpack, then returned to a car and, and took another one. They could have done it early in the morning when there weren't so many people about and people had gathered at the, the finish line. It's quite possible that it was two people who went into the, the crowd and then took their knapsack off, put it at their feet and then walked away. We don't know, but uh, there was no extra packages. There was no other bombs that didn't go off found. They were simply left luggage, left by people probably who ran off in a panic when the bombs exploded. So please don't don't read any more into it than than what we actually know. And I wish these fucking news people would at least try and catch up with the information being given out by the authorities rather than keeping repeating the first things that were told to them in the first fucking hour of when this thing happened as if nothing changes and there's no new information see this is how uh, conspiracy, conspiracy theories get the fucking ideas if you know what I mean because I guarantee you, 
when this comes out in a week or two weeks time and they actually say no there was only the two explosions no, nobody found any other bombs that weren't exploded then the conspiracy theories will be on the internet saying well we've got this uh, captured from the, 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 the two days after you know the, the actual bombs explode here on NB uh, CNN and here on fucking MSNBC and here on Fox News they said there was five bombs found that didn't explode. That means there was like, you no know, seven people. That means it was a whole crew of people. It wasn't just a single bomber. No, the, no that's, that's got to happen, man, because these people are fucking giving them the fucking fuel to, to spout that shit in a month's time. You know what I mean? I wish these cunts wouldn't fucking just repeat bullshit and would just say it's possible, but we don't know that there might have been other fucking, you know, devices. And then the day I would say, no, it's been proven now that we are no extra devices. You know what I mean? Rather than continuously saying they actually disarmed the they didn't disarm any devices. They treated unattended luggage as if it was a device until they found out it wasn't a device. That's what happened. You know what I mean? Oh, fucking hell, man. Anyway, Sanji fucking bad motherfuckers. I'm thinking of doing a, a Google Plus this evening as well. I mean, I've uh, for the day or so in bed, you know, feeling feeling shitty. Uh, but um, I'm feeling good enough to do a, a blog, yeah, or rather a, a Google Plus sort of live thing. So if, if anybody wants to sort of go on Google Plus and send me that they're you know the friends for the invite. Maybe I can get these on camera and we can chat, you know what I mean? Anyway, cheers guys. <laughs>